Oh, Gatsby, you're so sexy. I literally want to touch your... <laughs> you know what? English lit teachers. Oh, you know, it was a different time. They meant this super heterosexually. <laughs> Hashtag no homo. Yeah, they were just besties, you know? <laughs> like, totally best of friends. <laughs> no, it's not what you think. They were just a friends, okay? <laughs> the times were different back then. I have no idea how I haven't made a video on this subreddit yet. It's bloody amazing <laughs> and so funny. And yeah, welcome to our very first Sappho and her friend video. A subreddit dedicated to historical and other LGBTQ erasure from academia and other spaces. Mostly humorous, but open to serious discussion as well. So pretty much when two people are very much gay, but everybody else is like, nah. <laughs> They're just a friends, okay? I'm so excited for this. I hope you enjoy, guys. So, according to my mum's family, my uncle Peter has just been living with his male roommate, <laughs> roommate, for 17 years. Ignorance is bliss, eh? Yeah, something tells me they're a little bit more than roommates. Two men inspecting the grass close. <laughs> Details unknown. Yeah, wow, look at how closely they're inspecting the grass. Incredible. Just two besties hanging out inspecting grass length. <laughs> oh my gosh, hi daddy. We were practicing CPR. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. We were teaching each other CPR in a very friendly manner. <laughs> and yeah, just a couple of besties really. Ten years ago. Hi Hi, Grandma, this is my roommate, Megan. Now, hi, Grandma, remember my roommate, Megan? This is our other roommate, who's... Um, a baby. Yeah. <laughs> the top comment. I love how the only thing that changed on the grandma is a longer scarf. <laughs> yeah, that's really wholesome. I know that we only just started, but I already love this subreddit. Seeking a bestie who loves a brunch, Netflix binges, and going <laughs> down south on each other. That's called gay. You're gay. Meet the new breed of girlfriends with a Ben. Benefits. The top comment says, if you read the article, it's actually really sad. It's WLW women whose internalized homophobia makes it impossible for them to see their attraction to and relationships with women as valid. Yeah, that is sad. But the title of the Cosmo article <laughs> is hilarious. Oh my god, no way, Smithers. Why no girlfriend? Hmm, yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Smithers is such an incredible character in The Simpsons. It's actually unbelievable. The dynamic that he has with Mr. Burns is so beautiful. I always kiss my nieces and nephews goodnight. Ew. Oh, no. Uncle, you've got a scratchy beard. I'll kiss your wife. She can pass it on to you. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so awesome. But also, what a creepy ass uncle. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Hitting with that self sappho. At least a once a month, I think about the girl from my high school AP psych class who was like, we shouldn't allow gay people to get married because then all of the girls would want to marry a girl and then the population would die out because we would all want to marry girls, right? Oh, that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gay. <laughs> there are so many really nice supportive comments under this as well. Okay, so somebody posts this photo. Oh, a double wedding. Are you joking? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet how you both planned your wedding on the same day. Wait, where are your husbands? And the worst thing is, apparently they were being completely serious. 
this. Buddy, come on. Well, let's forget about it. That's what I like about fighting with you, Haiti. Haiti, making up is so much fun. <laughs> come on, you two. The party's starting, and it looks like I've got two dates. Yeah, um, don't know about that, buddy. The top comment says, looks like you don't have a date at all, buddy. Oh, making up is so much fun. <laughs> Just a couple of besties making out. Turkish Islamic preacher says that men without beards cause indecent thoughts in other men because they look like women. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. The title says, I believe that this man is really close to having a realization about himself that he's going to be uncomfortable with. Kelly O'Hara greets a fan after the USWNT's World Cup victory. Oh yeah, greets a fan <laughs> and just starts kissing them. Greets a fan is now my favorite euphemism. Okay, so this one was a joke, but <laughs> still, that's so funny. My wife and I accidentally wore matching outfits. We each have our own Switch and Animal Crossing game. We didn't know that we matched until she came over to my island. Aren't we just so cute? That's funny. You both look like women. They're lesbians, Harold. <laughs> yeah, are you joking? Oh, that's strange. You both look like women. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Come on. My then boyfriend, now fiance, proposed to me back in September of 2020 and got this box for the engagement ring because I'm obsessed with Pokemon Go. So who did he propose to? Oh, that's so gross that somebody would say that. There are only two people in the image. It's not that hard to guess. Yeah, so icky that somebody says that. Like, go away. <laughs> 100%. Oh God, this hurts. On my wedding day, someone said it was nice that we were having a double wedding and asked where the grooms were. Wait, at your wedding? Oh, like some of this is hilarious, but you know, some of it really isn't. You know, either these people are deliberately being super awful or they genuinely have no idea somehow. But yeah, I feel like it's the first one. Emily Dickinson really wrote to Sue, I tore open your letter and licked the envelope seal for any lingering taste of you. And historians thought they were just friends. Yeah, I licked the envelope to see if I could taste you my friend. <laughs> like, I'm sure there's more to this because that's ridiculous. Nice to meet you, my wife Jen. <laughs> that's an interesting name. So, are you guys roommates? <laughs> Sometimes Cracked is so weirdly on point. It took me a second to get it because at first glance, I thought my wife Jen was one of those Welsh names. The top comment, I had this happen to me one time where I was the part at fault. My new co-worker was saying my girlfriend and I kept hearing Michael Fred <laughs> who I assumed was her significant other. And after asking how long her and Michael had been dating, it was literally the worst. <laughs> wow, that's so funny but at the same time I'm so sorry. I can feel the second hand embarrassment. I just found out that the biggest couple of best in my class were girlfriends. Legit just a dating. I'm the historian. Oh my god, yeah, I feel like I'd do something like this. I'm not like a bad at realizing things, but I'm sort of blissfully unaware of a lot of stuff. And I don't really think too far into anything. So yeah, I definitely understand how you just didn't realize. Like the top comment says, I've done this multiple times with straight couples, gay couples, couples, everyone. I think I'm just dumb. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> this is how America should be. Cowboys, guns, steeds, a wilderness, and not a city-dwelling liberal in sight. <laughs> no, they're 100% joking. They're not gonna say that on a picture of Brokeback Mountain. Interesting painting. Boarding school friends, 1837. Just a gal, pals. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just a couple of best of friends. Very good friends. How to find out if she's gay or only did the horizontal mumbo with you in like a friend way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I already know this is going to be one of my favorite subreddits. My son and his a friend have been playing Fortnite together all night. They are such a good friends. <laughs> they get along so well and they spend so much time together. Happy roommates having fun in the bathroom. Spare time, a lifestyle and daily routine. Yeah, roommates. <laughs> are you sure about that? Hello, roommate. <laughs> How are you on this fine morning, beautiful? <laughs> God, you're the best roommate ever. <laughs> Portrait of a Lady on Fire explores a fascinating friendship. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a fascinating friendship. The top comment, how can you see this picture and write this title? Yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, I'm going to leave today's video there, guys. That was an amazing first episode on this subreddit. I hope you had a fun time, guys. Even though this was really hard, Wholesome. We'll still do a couple of wholesome memes. Dino Comics. I feel like I can be myself around you. You're weird and quiet around me. Yes. <laughs> this is who I am. I'm weird and I'm quiet <laughs> and you love me. How to deal with bullies. You're weird. I sure am. You're a nerd. Totally. Your clothes don't match. Duh. I'm having a party and you're not invited. Thank goodness. <laughs> I wasn't going to come to your stinky party anyway, bro. Think I'd want to come to your party? <laughs> when your mum brushes your hair and tells you what a handsome boy you are, <laughs> my mum says I'm pretty. <laughs> and that's all that matters. My girl telling the McDonald's manager that I didn't want pickles on my cheeseburger. Thank you for standing up for me. <laughs> I'll never forget get this. That was so fun. I hope you had a great time today, guys. And as always, make sure you let me know down below what you thought. The comment of the day today goes to Amy. I love that since Vincey started doing videos with his face, he now says bye. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what else to say. After see you next time, like we're all there together. See you at the next Vincey party, everyone. Bye. <laughs> yeah, true. That actually is really whole. Awesome. But yeah, I just genuinely don't know how to end it. So I'm like, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Bye. But yeah, it really does feel like we're all just hanging out. And that makes me very, very happy. Yeah, I'm about to do it right now. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you at the next Vinci party, everyone. Okay. Bye. <laughs>